would like to thank my fellow commissioners for being here. I would like to welcome the mayor and Councilwoman Kintami. Thank you for being here. And I probably shouldn't forget the attorney. Hi, Joe. <laughs> it's always good to remember your attorney. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna take roll call. Um, I'm here, I'm Jim Lamerson, I'm the chairman, vice chair Teeters. Right. Present. Here. Mary Fredrickson. Here. Marion Hobricks, excuse. Uh, she won't be here today. Mark Present. James Myers. Present. Um, I, I like when we do uh, public business the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate that. So we've done the roll call. We've done the pledge. And today we're going to have a... Please hold down the button on your... We're going to have an open public hearing and this is being recorded by the city. The proceedings are being televised by representatives of the public media. The public, local, local cable, and or radio stations, they also broadcast. I'm holding it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we have from here, we have uh, five members of the board, and it takes four to have the legal action so if I counted right did we have we have six and we need four for a vote okay anyway I'm gonna let you handle this Tammy as far as presenting what we're discussing today the Variance. So next is approval of the July 20th, 2023 meeting minutes. Okay. So the first item on the agenda is to get a, an approval of the past meeting that we had. And did everybody have a chance to read their minutes? Yeah. Were there any objections, disagreements, comments, anything that need to be aired? Not hearing any, I would entertain a motion to approve the minutes of our last meeting. Mr. Chairman, uh, Tom Davis, I, I move to approve the minutes. Do I hear a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. All those indicate by saying aye. 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 Any negative? It passes unanimously. Okay, your turn. Thank you, Chairman. Good morning, Chairman, members of the board, Tammy DeWitt, Community Planner, the City of Prescott. Before you is a variance request to Article 3, Section 3.3.3.F, a uh, single family uh, 35 minimum density um, of the Land Development Code to allow reduction in the required 30 foot front setback by 20 feet to allow for a 10 foot front setback for a new single family residence. Um, other properties in the area have had variances approved to reduce the setbacks due to the terrain in the area. Uh, when I looked at our mapping, I found about four or five in the immediate area. And this one actually has been had a variance approved for the exact same request. It was under a um, different owner and developer. The property has since been sold. Variances are only good for a year unless they pull a building permit. So they had to come before and apply for a variance again. But this was actually the same type of request approved in July of 2020. So here's the site plan to show um, there is a lot of terrain. It steeps down very significantly in the front. And we, like we said before, we have been seeing a lot of these type of requests to meet the fire request uh, requirements for the slope of the driveways. But because of the slope of the property, this is similar to other requests that have been obtained in the area. Um, it didn't qualify for a topographic exemption because that only reduces it by 10 feet and they need to reduce it by 20 feet. So hence it's before you for a variance request today. Here's the subject property, it kind of shows you the area has been developed and you can see a lot of the, the houses are close to the property lines up front or in the back. 
And here's an imagery of the area that also shows um, the houses. And there are some that encroach either in the back because of the terrain or in the front. Here's the subject property. Like I said, it drops down very significantly right from off the road. Um, so hence they want to bring the house forward to um, less um, improvements to the property will be required. And then this is another view looking down the slope. We did post the property. We have not heard from any of the property owners in the immediate area. And this is the buffer map. We do contact all the property owners within 300 feet, and we did not hear from any of the surrounding property owners in regards to this request. Um, variance review, we look at extraordinary conditions, substantial detriment to the area, special privileges, self-induced hardship. It is in compliance with the general plan. It's a platted lot. And utilization, it met all the criteria, and there was no issues or concerns that staff saw, saw or any of our reviewing agencies saw with this request. And that concludes my presentation. I'm free to answer any questions, and the applicant is also here if you have any questions. Thank you very much. <clears throat> you did a, a good presentation. Uh, board members, do you have any questions or comments or objections or anything that need to be aired? Uh, Mr. Chair, Mark Hopeness here. Yes, sir, Mark. Uh, I'd like to hear from uh, the applicant or anybody that uh, is here to speak. Okay. Applicant, your turn. Good morning. I'm Tom Terry with Distinctive Homes and Architecture. And uh, thank you very much for the good presentation there. Only thing I would like to add to it is that Cyclorama is a single lane road of 17 feet <clears throat> at this point, and which means that there's a lot of extra right of way in front of the property, which, you know, to meet the 18% grade, and then the 30 foot setback, it just was too much to develop. So that's why we're here today. And, and we're very thankful for your consideration of this and uh, hoping that uh, we can make this project work with this variance. Any, any questions other than that? I don't have any, but thank you for your comments. Great. Thank you very much. One, one thing. Does that encroach on the right of way? This no. No, no. No. Okay. No. Okay. Thank you for your question, no, Tony. We're not <clears throat> having any more comments unless somebody does. I would entertain a motion to approve the variance or deny the variance. Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Mark Hopkins again. Uh, I move to uh, approve uh, variance 23-004 uh, per the uh, site plan that staff has presented. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor of approving the variance signify aye. by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? I guess that means the variance passed unanimously. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, next, we have staff updates. The only update we have is on Wednesday, August 30th, we have the general plan open house at the Rowley uh, Simmons uh, Adult Center. We, it starts at 3 o'clock through 6. It's, you could come in any time. We'll have a different table set up, and we're asking for comments and input from the public. So we invite you to come, and please participate in our process. And that's all I have for today. Thank you. And again, I want to... Thank the mayor and councilwoman for being here today. It's important that the public sees that we do their work as a team. So with no other comments or presentation or anything like that, I'll adjourn the meeting.